Hello, this is Lawrence here. And on this video, I'm coming at you with um, this new style of pose, where it's not really new, but it's a carousel style of pose that could be used for paid ads or organic posts on Instagram and Facebook. The whole idea behind these ads is that the algorithm face favors when someone spends more time on your post as well as when someone engages with your post, um, whether likes or comments, right? So, so, so this style of post does both of those things, um, and we'll just go right into it, all right? And you'll see exactly why better. All right, so I'm gonna break down carousel by carousel so that way you can see what the purpose of each carousel is. Uh, and the strategy behind this, right? Uh, none of this is set in stone. Uh, you can, as you make these, and you can see this is my first one, and I can tell you from making this and making this one, I have gotten a lot better at these, and I can actually just bend a lot of these rules to favor whatever it is that I'm trying to do. All right, so the most important, the first thing that you wanna do in an ad like this is to write the copy. So you just, Go like this here, like I did for the structure, and you go carousel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you write copy for each of them, and and then you will um and then and then and then it gets designed, right? So, all right, Instagram gives you and as well as Facebook. When I say Instagram, it's both. Uh, it gives you ten carousels, both on paid and organic. Um, I like to use all 10 because they give you 10. Why not use all of it, right? Um, again, the whole point is to get users to stay longer on my page and to interact with my page. So why wouldn't I use all of it, right? I want them to swipe longer. Anyways, here we go. Carousel number one. All right. This carousel, intuitively, a lot of people are gonna wanna just put everything here and give out all the information wrong. This carousel, you do not explain anything, you do not sell anything, <clears throat> you do not ask the user to take any actions, okay? This carousel is a title and why would this user scroll? In this example, this was specifically made for graphic designers to explain the differences between art and design and why understanding these differences makes you a better graphic designer. So if you are a graphic designer scrolling and you see this, you're like, okay, this is, I might be interested in this and you go to the second one. All right. So that's all this car That's all the first carousel is for. Its job is to describe, propose the issue and what might be the, and, and that you, you might have the answer and how this can help you uh, better. Right? If this is a product, it's the same concept, right? Okay, number, carousel number two. Not, we're not answering any questions yet. We're not giving any really, really relevant piece of information yet. At this point, we're still deciding, this person is still deciding whether this post is for me or not, okay? So here, what you wanna do is help accent the point that you were making before, which is to, um, how, does, how is this gonna help me, the user? How, 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 why am I interested in this post? All right, so this is going to start building interest on the rest of the information that's coming. Carousel number three. Carousel number three, this is where you give your first piece of relevant information, okay? So here, you just wanna do one bullet point, Something simple, easy to read, boom. Carousel number four. Carousel number four, you're gonna want to expand on the previous one because like I said, you're just making one bullet point and but you, you, you have more to say, right? So then here's where you say it, okay? Don't get carried away. Still, everything here needs to be shortened to the point. You do not want to overwhelm this person because they just stop scrolling sideways and they'll scroll up, right? All right, carousel number five. Uh, so on carousel number five, you wanna give the user another piece of relevant information. This, this information can support number three, 
or contrast number three. It's up to you. It really gonna depend on your strategy or what you're selling, or what this is about, right? If this is a product, um, it's gonna most likely be supporting. But if it's just something that, like ideas, like I'm sharing here, it might be something that is contrasting, right? Again, on carousel number six, yeah, carousel number six, we are expanding on that previous bullet points. So carousel number four and five and five and, and six and seven, no, I'm sorry, three and four and four and five and six are pretty much mirrors of each other, okay? But they're making two different points. All right, so then we move on to carousel number seven. All right, so carousel number seven is the setup for your big idea, okay? This is, and, and if, if somebody's already on carousel number seven, we can assume that they are hot. They're interested in what you have to say. They are on carousel number seven. I mean, are you kidding me? They're more than halfway there, 70% of the way there. So on carousel number seven, they're into it. So this is where you have the avalanche is at peak, it's at its strongest. And so set up for your big idea. And um, so you can see here, like I'm setting up by saying, why do people interchange art and design, right? And then they're gonna go, and carousel number eight is where you lay it down. Carousel number eight is where you want to place your most important idea, the reason that this ad or post even exists. It goes from carousel number eight. And the reason for that is because uh, you just want to build up uh, and when they're really interested, boom, you break their neck, okay? Um, now, here's a beautiful thing that you could and should do on carousel number eight. You should get them to go back. Why? Because you want them to spend more time on your post or ad, right? As you see here, um, I made them just go back one time because I, the answer to these two questions is in between, right? But another, like if you don't have these skills, the way that you could do it is you can make them, re you can make your user re reference something that you already said, okay? This, this means that they're gonna go back and forth and back and forth telling the algorithm, both on paid and organic, that this post is very relevant, that people are staying on it, okay? All right, so then carousel number nine. Carousel number nine is where you do what you intuitively would have done on carousel number one, which is to put all the information. Now, you're not gonna put all the information just like a crazy person. You're going to keep it all concise. You're gonna summarize your your entire ad, right? And um, just keep it short and, and get to the point, all right? This is carousel number nine, and then carousel number 10, and you'll see that I make made a slight mistake here. This Again, this is my first one, and ever since I've perfected this, I've gotten a little better and better. I don't have like a super clear call to action here, but that's what carousel number 10's job is. Carousel number 10 is call to action. What do I want my user to do after seeing this post? Because now they're gonna scroll the other way. It's over, we are done. I want them to take some sort of action. Do I want them to get out of Instagram and go to my website and buy something? Uh, do I want them to follow me? Here, in this case, I had them follow me, but then, it, see, the call to action just wasn't like the prep, the most prominent thing in carousel number 10, which is the mistake that I made, right? I, com I continued to summarize. So, uh, or, or and, and give another big idea, so to, so to speak, right? I could have just made this into another, another post completely. But yeah, anyways, um, there's no right or wrong. Uh, however, it just makes sense that on your last post, you have a call to action for whatever it is that you want that user to do for you or your company. All right, um, at this point, you should probably follow me on Instagram. Thank you, I appreciate that. 
as you can see, my page is awesome. Um, I didn't really come up with this. This is not my like proprietary um, information. I've seen a lot of people doing different things, and all that I did was take a lot of ideas from everywhere and basically came up with my way of doing it. Um, that which is which I which is systematic, and I made it so that me or anyone can take it and and replicate success. Right, so that's all I did. I, I made it more structured, and, and there's that. But there's a lot of people doing this. Anyways, this is all for now. Go to my Instagram. I'm putting this here for you as reference. This is going to be somewhere uh, so that you can. So if you're not a visual person or you want to watch the video, you can simply go to here, and it will tell you everything you need to know. Again, summarizing what I would do is first. Put them down like this in a document and write the copy. The copy is going to lead everything else in this case. Copy will lead the design simply because these posts are very conversational. These posts are very interactive. So you have to make it conversational and copy just does that. And then after you're done with the copy, you're going to want to um, start designing it. Um, so that's pretty much that. I'm really done for real now. Follow me on Instagram right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave until you follow me on Instagram. Just follow me on Instagram.